of course, we had no idea, you know, what was going to happen last March, but uh, we were thankfully able to meet one time as a group with the current cohort of writers. Uh, and so that was really nice. We were able to kick off the residency together. And then we have been meeting entirely virtually for a little over a year. I got to talk about art. I got to share art. I got to just sort of like un unleash my frustrations. And I got to share it with people who were saying, no, no, you're wrong. It's people who are listening. This work in the Playwrights Collective has been um, revelatory in its uh, ability to push me forward. And I'm thinking about the rest of my cohort. They're, they're so brilliant. Uh, they're craftspeople, and I love it. Every playwright is just bringing something completely different to the table. Uh, they all have a different style. They're all uh, exploring different subject matter, different uh, areas of history. 10th century Germany to African diasporic witches to the history of um, Asian American discrimination to the, the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl. Four hot takes of work that has been produced and marinated and workshopped during the pandemic. And I think that that's really exciting. To put all the things on paper and to try to funnel the feelings and the sensations into a space that is productive uh, and healing. That was a gift. I mean, genuinely, that was a gift. Sort of what is possible when we share space and time together, and even though sharing space and time together looks a little bit different right now, I think that that alchemy is still really, really at the foundation of our art form. You have an added layer of something that you've never had before, which is observing it as a time capsule of a very specific moment. And I think for that reason alone, I think it's incredibly valuable to come to and watch.